Hey y'all. I found my house. I found my house yesterday. How did I know that it was my house? Because it felt like home. It felt like the home that I already imagined when I was lying down in my bed right before I went to sleep. That's how I knew it was my house. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I want you to know you could be, do, or have anything that you want in a physical reality. It is not about working hard. It is about putting your mind to work for you. The universe yielding to you things that you want. God's a good job. <laughs> it's perfect for me. It's perfect for me. It's perfect for me. You know, in life, sometimes we say, or we think rather, you know, I can't do this. I, I got to wait for this, or I can't do this by myself, or I'm, I'm waiting on God. Baby, you are your own savior. You're not waiting on nobody. you waiting on yourself. <laughs> you waiting on getting your mind right. That's what you're really waiting on. When you get real with yourself and become accountable with your energy, you running the show. Because you all that exists in your reality. You see somebody out here with me? I'm in a whole nother state. Wait, wait, let me show you right quick. You see people? You see people? There are no people. This here is on a ledge over here. I'm using the ledge as my holder for my phone because I don't have nobody to hold it. I got to bring my little, my little tripod. But I'm coming here to share with you no matter where you are in your life. You could do whatever it is that you want. You just gotta, you gotta get back to that little girl stage, that imagination stage. You gotta imagine that you're living in the end already. And so when you're imagining, you might not see things in your physical reality moving, but I promise you, the universe is making way for you to get what that is that you are imagining. So, so imagine like when you were a little girl the day the night before christmas all the gifts that you were gonna unfold or even the days or weeks before christmas you just knew christmas was coming and you had this built up expectation this desire this this knowing that you were gonna get some cool gifts if your christmas wasn't all that where your daddy wasn't there mama wasn't there imagine go back <laughs> go back and imagine that you had your mama and you had your daddy and you had the best christmas ever fix that past if you don't, you're going to keep on remembering or regurgitating that past and you're going to keep having the same experiences with different characters. Once you learn that in life and you, and you remember that past the way that you want it to be, like you were the most beautiful little girl and you were so special and you had everything that you wanted, you had all the love that you wanted, all the gifts that you desired, you went to Disney World, you, you 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 took pictures with Mickey and Minnie or whatever it is that you liked when you were a little girl. You little cabbage patch doll, you border doll, whatever it was. You had the things that you wanted. You had all the friends that came over to visit you because you were loved. You were people wanted to be around you. You were worthy. You were desired. Everybody wanted you to sleep over to their house or whatever it is you got to do when you pass. Fix that stuff. Heal that trauma because those are the things that are stopping you. The beliefs that you have about yourself stopping you. You know, you could we could affirm, we could say, Oh, I'm worried, man. oh, I am riches, I am gold, I am this and I am that. But more importantly, what, what the universe is attracting to you is, is your belief, it's what you believe that that's what is bouncing out there into the universe, and that's what the universe is saying. So, shall it be? <laughs> So shall it be if I'm over. So I already believed that I was here as a whole. I already believed so much more that the universe is here I'm going to for me. But this one here, I'm going to do a video on it. Because it's not just the home. It's a lot that I have uh, changed in my mind, my way of thinking. And the universe has been good to me. So very good to me. 
so I haven't shared this with anybody. Like I said, I'm out here by myself, but I'm doing these videos to post them for when I'm finished with everything that I have created in my mind through imagination. I'm gonna put this on my channel and I'm gonna leave this to encourage some little girl, some little boy, some grown woman or man. Cause it, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. It's about your thoughts. It's about it's about what you think, thought my thought throughout the day. That's what you attract. I have met so many people here, and like I said, I'm not here alone. So many people here that were drawn to me, blessed me, and these people don't even know me. my name. <laughs> You know, all you're getting, get an understanding. And I'm not talking about understanding of anything outside. You need to understand the totality of everything inside. That's when you win. That's when you win. I'm sorry about that. I had to bring you the um, in the sun. That's when you win. When you begin to understand you and your thoughts, you can see how you are running for the show. And so in the beginning stage, when I started working on my thoughts, you know, you know your thoughts and your words kind of go inside, you know. So if you're imagining at night and then waking up in the day and, and you're thinking negative or you're going against whatever it is that you were imagining with your thoughts or with the words that you speak, you just catch yourself. This is inner word. Catch yourself. Thought by thought. Word by word. In the beginning. Or even now sometimes if I say something that I know is not something I want the universe to yield to me. I'll, I'll catch myself and I'll put in but. You know how when you say the word but it contradicts everything that you were saying in that sentence. You know, you know how people be like, I'm not hating but. <laughs> they hate, you know. When, I, when they say, I ain't trying to be messy, but, you know, so, for example, if I was to say, this, this, this car, this car isn't the kind that I would have picked out, but, but it's perfect, this is a perfect rental car for me to do what I need to do. You see what I'm saying? Clean up that negative thought, because the things that you speak about, the things that you think about, Become greater and greater. You ask in the universe for more and more and more of that. Cancel that out. Speak of the good that you want. Let the universe hear the good about your life so it could expand. We are expanding whether you want to accept that or not. You're either being crucified though or you're being resurrected. So everything you're doing is expanding. So with you being crucified, that, that negative thought is killing you and you're expanding in a downward spiral. But when you're being resurrected, it's people up with, with your thoughts, with your words, with your imagination. Anyway, I just wanted to leave that here. I, I don't wanna be here long because I have to enjoy my now moment. I'm going to explore surrounding areas of where my new home is so I know where the grocery store is and and I will know if they have a park I gotta find my park I gotta find um like a, a herbal shop I gotta find like a whole food market I have to find an Asian market yeah I gotta find out where key lime's at so I gotta go be blessed, baby. From my heart to yours. Bye. Wait, wait. One more thing. I've been wanting to say this. They say this here on uh, TikTok. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl stuff. <laughs>
claim to be in my universe. My uni. Use the right to raise to turn right up. Oh, I see somebody black. <laughs> a black lady walking. Oh, you little girl in walk. I found a store out here. This is gonna be my grocery store, y'all, because it's by my new neighborhood. It's called Fry's. Fry's Marketplace. I never heard of that before from where I'm from. But I really went up in there because I need water. And I bought me some water, some spring water. I bought the bougie water, guys, because I just took out the little bougie, you know. Can't, can't drink out of a plastic bottle when you're about to buy a new house. A new construction house. So I got the fancy little spring water. And wait, this is why I really wanted to do the video. I got me some blueberries and orange. Something to eat. But I found my key lime though. They did for a dollar at Fry's Marketplace. I knew I was gonna find my key limes. And when watermelon season roll up in here, we're gonna find some seeded watermelons too. Oh, I'm gonna have to call my watermelon man from New Orleans and tell him he needs to start hitting the road or something. Anyway, I'm about to go and meet my realtor right quick. I want to share this with you. So while I'm doing this here in my mind, I'm like, I live here. I'm home. Why am I sharing this with you? Because I'm, I want you to see how you create your reality. I'm walking in Fry's Marketplace as if this is my neighborhood. This is my new, new grocery store already. Talking to the workers that work there already. See you next time telling them that already because I shall be back I shall shop here often you see what I'm saying feeling at home I want to share this also with you all when I first got here mind you I am by myself I told you about the plane ride I the captain I mean the pilot the captain or the pilot whatever the pilot got on a loudspeaker called out my name and said that how honored he was to me, me, for me to be riding on his plane from that moment to getting off of the airplane it was dark it was really really late when I arrived and I did a video when I arrived and finally got to my room but when I walked upstairs to get to my room it was so dark and they had these trees right there by my balcony y'all saw the trees so i couldn't see my room number i couldn't see well and for a split second i started to feel a little uncomfortable because i'm in the dark right and immediately i fixed that that was my energy because what i want you to know here in life fear is the opposite of faith Fear will destroy everything that you try to imagine in your mind. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not here for that. We're not here for that. 
You created this reality right here. You better walk into whatever it is that you created. Why would the universe bring you all the way out here for something bad to happen? We, we're not living like that. We about to get our house. We got about to feel like we are home because in all actuality, no matter where I go, I'm at home. This is my universe. Hmm. Whew. Don't let nothing stop you from dreaming and believing and having that now kind of faith. That now kind of faith. That means you could do the impossible. That now kind of faith is already done. That now kind of faith, this is already an area I frequent. That now kind of faith. Hmm. I'm hopeful I'm helping somebody. Let me drink my bougie water. Bridget is bougie with a glass bottle of water. Yes, Lord. Be blessed, babe. From my heart to yours. There you go. I think I found my book. I was supposed to be turning right. I, I was going to put it in the navigation to go, you know, talk near me or whatever. But I was supposed to be turning left. How yourself said go right. And I went right. And now I'm right here by a park. Come on, y'all wanna go see the park? Come on, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Come on, see my park. I got a cute park. I like it. Let me see what they got. I hope they have a walking trail. I just want a walking trail. That's all. Come on, let's go see the park. How you flip this thing? some good videos out here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This ball got potential.